How to be a millionaire on a low salary There's no doubt that becoming a millionaire is a challenging goal. But what if you could do it on a low salary? Believe it or not, it's possible. You may feel stuck at a dead-end job, and your income will never be enough to make you wealthy. It's not like winning the lottery, but it is achievable if you are willing to make some changes in your life and work hard. In fact, plenty of millionaires made their fortune by starting with nothing and building their wealth over time. Take the example of people like Davi Ramsey, who went from earning a middle-class income to becoming a millionaire. He did it by living below his means, investing in himself, and making smart financial decisions. Ramsey is not the one example. There are plenty of stories of people who have gone from rags to riches. And while it may not happen overnight, it is possible to amass a fortune on a low salary. In this video, I will give you six strategies on how to become a millionaire on a low salary. While becoming a millionaire may seem like an impossible goal, it is achievable if you are willing to make some sacrifices and put in the hard work. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. 6 Tips to Become a Millionaire on a Low Salary 1. Start Early This doesn't mean investing money into your savings account until you are older is terrible. In fact, you should begin investing while you are young to see substantial growth in your account. Investing early in life will yield substantial results because your brain is still developing, and the compound effect of those investments will far outweigh any one investment, says Chris Hogan. Think of your brain as an athlete the younger you start, the bigger impact you will make. If you don't have a lot of money in your first job, start making the most of your spare time. Then, every dollar or hour contributed to your savings will grow due to compounding rather than simple interest. You will also start building a cushion that will last you rather than having every paycheck go straight to filling gaps. This way, if a layoff or accident should occur, there will still be money coming in to cover your basic needs. Millionaires don't just show up. They begin early and build their wealth through focused savings habits. 2. Invest your money every single day. A common misconception about investing is that it has to be a once-off activity where you sit back and hope for the best. The truth is that your investments need to be ongoing. You need to be putting money away every single day. Whether you invest $10 or $100 daily, the more you put out, the better your return will be. The reason is simple. The longer your investment lasts, the bigger the eventual payout. Saving money is just as important as having money to save. Even if you're not getting any interest in your money, it's still worth putting it away. It doesn't matter how much money you make if you're not making progress, says Chris Hogan, who started working at 18 and now runs multiple high-end webs and mobile businesses from his New York home. That said, investing your money is crucial to get the highest return possible. That might be through stocks, which are a bit risky but offer high returns, or bonds, which are less risky but offer low returns. But, of course, it all depends on your financial goals and risk tolerance. This could mean investing in an index fund, BTF, mutual fund, or managed account. But again, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're putting money away regularly and consistently building that nest egg over time. 3. Generate multiple streams of income. 75% of millionaires have multiple income streams. There's no way around it. Some form of additional income is going to be necessary for most people in today's world in the US, at least to achieve financial independence. However, this does not necessarily need to come from one primary source. Sure, the more stable the sources of income, the better. But suppose you have a part-time job as well as another source of income coming in consistently. In that case, there's no reason you can't combine the two and reduce the overall amount of money you need to earn. For example, let's say you have a full-time job paying $50,000 annually, and your side business brings in $5,000 per month. You could potentially earn a total of $55,000 per year with no additional investment. But suppose you can find a way to increase your business revenue. In that case, you can bring that number up significantly, potentially even to the point where it becomes your sole source of income. One option might be to start blogging to earn money and, over time, grow your blog into something bigger and better. Alternatively, you may get a second job to supplement your current income. 4. Budget like crazy. There's nothing wrong with saving money, but if you're good at tracking expenses and don't splurge it necessarily, you can use this to build wealth. Just as important as cutting costs, though, 
is learning how to manage your income to reap the benefits of compound interest. This means making the most of every paycheck and ensuring that it's not spent on things that won't help you save and invest. No more coffee mugs. The point of all of this, you need to get your finances in order. If you have a lot of debt, you can pay it off really quickly, but that comes with sacrifice. It'll be uncomfortable and you will be stressed along the way, but it will get done. So figure out what you have got going on right now and start there. The worst thing you can do is nothing because doing nothing leaves you with nothing. Start by setting up budgeting software. You will want something like Quick and Ornament, but many options exist. Once you've budgeted properly, set some savings goals. I like to shoot for 10% of my income right off the bat. Then stick to those goals every month. This will allow you to pay off debt quickly, make investments and save for a house, retirement, or whatever your goal is. 5. Live frugally. One of the quickest ways to save some serious cash is to live frugally. I know this seems somewhat backward, but hear me out. Investing in savings accounts and CDs isn't going to do much good if you're spending beyond your means. Therefore, one way to speed up accumulating wealth is to eliminate wasteful spending. Whether you are eating out too much hello, credit card bills, hopping in the car to run errands instead of walking, or having an extra beer with friends instead of sticking to your daily limit, being smart about how you spend your money will surely pay off. After all, did you know you can accumulate more money faster just by cutting back on non-essentials? Okay, we all know what this means. We have to tighten our belts and live like the younger generations do or at least try. Most of us grew up being told we had to never go without whatever we wanted or needed. We learned that saving money required us to be disciplined with every aspect of our finances, and it does. But we also must understand that saving money can mean living simply and cutting back on non-essentials. We must prioritize how we spend our money instead of treating it like it's infinite supply. 6. Develop a millionaire mindset, not the fast money one. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. This is a good one. It requires us to stop thinking like the man on the street. We need to stop thinking about how much money we have and instead feel like a millionaire. I'm a millionaire because I think like a millionaire. If you want to be wealthy, stop thinking like you're broke. To create a millionaire mindset, you must have a long-term vision. You don't need to become a millionaire tomorrow or next week, but rather in a few years. Keep that vision in front of you. You will be able to stay motivated when the going gets tough and when setbacks are inevitable. And then, as a result, you'll see results that far surpass your expectations. A common saying is, I go without a plan is just a wish. The same can be said for a business without a long-term vision. If you don't know where you're headed, you can easily get distracted by the roadblocks in front of you instead of seeing past them. I like to end videos with questions that can spur ideas and inspire future action. So, what's your plan? And if you already have one, how do you make sure that it stays in the forefront of your mind so that you're never tempted to think like a broke person again? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing to be a millionaire on a low salary. Also, press the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch more videos to help me become a millionaire too.